So season two of Chicago Fire ended on an incredible cliffhanger with that explosion. Do you know who's making out of that building alive? I have no idea. Can you can you believe though that kind of page turner? Like everybody goes in the building and then it just explodes and then like the end. It's got to be continued. Yeah. It's gonna be great. I can't wait to see who who makes it out. <laughs> Thank God the show got a third season, I guess. I know, God, right? Fuck on what? Yeah. Now, uh, if Dawson survives. Uh, do you think she and Casey will make it down the aisle? Do you, do you see that for them? I have no idea with that. I mean, I think she wants to. I really think Dawson is in love with Casey. I think Casey's in love with her. But um, there's this issue, right? She passes the firefighter test, so now there's this issue that she can't be on truck at 51 if they're dating. So I wonder, I guess my question back to you is like, what is D Dawson gonna do? Does she want to stay at 51 or does she want to keep her relationship? And that's the question I have for the, for me as an actor too. I have no idea though. I'm, I haven't read the scripts yet. <laughs> A lot of fans are scared that if Casey died, that means she could stay. So is that the way the show's going? True, but Casey's also like the he the lead of the show. <laughs> right. I highly doubt that's going to happen. like the one guy. But if he say. does, we can push him aside, and then I'll become the next Casey, right? Sure. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> now in season two, it, we saw Dawson working towards becoming a firefighter. Mm -hmm. Is it right that was your idea originally? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I well, I had the idea, and I discussed it with Chief Steve. Uh, sorry. Ugh. Let me say that again. I had the idea, and I discussed it with Steve Chikorotis, who is um, our resident firefighter consultant in Chicago and he's kind of a legend in Chicago actually um, and I talked to him a little bit and I was like hey Steve do we have any f female firefighters coming on board and he was like no they sort of discussed it in the room but we haven't really figured it out yet and I was like what if I did it what if it was me what if we move laterally and I'm Instead of being paramedic, I want to be a firefighter as well. And I take that test. I was like, I, I think it makes sense. I want to be able to represent female firefighters. I've been here for two years or a year and a half already. I'm in the show. And I get the opportunity to be around these firefighters all the time. I want to be able to represent them. And they bought it. They liked the idea. And I gave them a couple like story pitches. And they took it. They were inspired by it. And then they did their own thing, created the storyline. But I was really... I was so shocked and like humbled that they actually took what I had to say seriously. It meant a lot to me. Uh, Dawson and Shay were really uh, put through the ringer, but they, they came back together. What do you think it is about their relationship that these two always come back together? Shawson. Well, yeah, Shawson. <laughs> why, 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 do, why do people love them so much and why do they love each other so much? I think it's because we're extremely no holds barred with each other. We're honest and we'll just call each other on our BS, you know, and that's, that's kind of the stuff of a real relationship is when you can be so comfortable with someone and trust someone to just say like, hey, man, you're acting like an idiot. Yeah. You need to get it together, <laughs> yeah. you know, instead of trying to sugarcoat it. And that kind of trust between two people is so rare. And when you see it, it's it's fun because you know that, right? That's what you want in a friendship. Now, with season three of Chicago Fire launching, season two of Chicago PD is launching right alongside it this time. So do you think we'll see a lot more crossovers? Absolutely, I think so. I think that we're going to see tons more crossovers in the next season, especially now that we've already established this world. Uh, you know, for example, I keep saying that it's like the same event happens in both worlds, but it's, you see it from two completely different perspectives. And that's something that's never really quite been done before. Yeah. So I think that um, the NBC is going to want to explore that more and more.